Hey everybody, welcome back. Slice and dice. I know people are saying uh, other modes, other modes. Listen, let me tell you something. I don't even know how to get to blurst mode. I'm imagining you probably do curse. Infinite play until you lose. Start with a curse. Gain a curse after every boss. Gain a blessing every loop. What the heck is a... I guess a, every loop is 20. Um, you know what? I bet you unlock blurst by losing on cursed. Hey, that... You know what? Instead of just playing Generate, which I admit I've been having a great time with and have been playing in my downtime as well. Let's try a Cursed, okay? Choose a Cursed. Broken Heart. Must be equipped to make someone immune to healing. Or add a bone to each boss level. I can live with a, with a bone on each boss level, in my, my personal opinion. That's my take on it. Now, let's look... I, I gotta remember what these dice look like, because I've been playing so much random. Okay, you, we want, probably want Big Shield out of you. We probably want good mana out of you. We want good mana out of you. We'd like a two-piece out of you. Basically, not an X. And fighter with two, that's good enough. Big shield. Little shield. How much did you do? Six damage, right? Five, five damage on hit. Check this out. I'm a genius. Never mind. We don't even... Okay, like, you can shoot the thorn, but you could also do this. Hit you so you live, and then I could have healed you afterwards if the goblin didn't run away anyway. We have a herbalist. Vine is such an unbelievably good spell. One damage or heal one for one mana. So it's the definition of versatile. Whirl is pretty good too, but the fighter themselves is pretty solid. Healer is good. For, you're good for mana too. I don't really care for regen, but everything else and the spell makes me think that this is the way we go. But I have no idea how this is going to go, by the way. I'm just I'm, I'm doing my best here. Um, it, I've never played this mode before, but so far, it, so it's going to be like three curses instead of just the one, I guess. It doesn't seem easy, that's for sure. I really like mana growth. The odds of it actually, like, getting to the point where it goes, if you'll allow me to use the term, sicko mode is not necessarily high, but, uh... It, it, I think mana with a good spell makes more of a difference than just getting one extra damage. Because, I mean, that one technically it could be one extra damage or it could be one extra heal, you know? So I would say forget growth for now because the fight is... It, it, it possibly could be over if we want it to be over. Uh, this is just a horrendous turn, but, you know, that's life sometimes. That's a, I, I have seen some complaints about the randomness in uh, Slice and Dice on occasion. It is frustrating when you get, um, excuse me, do you only get growth for one turn? Yeah, just one. Okay, I thought it was for the whole fight. That makes this a lot less impressive, but it's okay. Come on, give me the two piece. You know, that's why you read the card, I suppose. I forgot what I was saying anyway. What was I saying? Oh, it, it, the game's called Slice and Dice. You know, you're rolling dice. It is annoying when you think you've built a great run and then, like, variance kind of screws you, but it is what it is, I guess, you know? It's, if, it, if it didn't have variance, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be dice. It would be a different game. If I had wheels, I'd be a bicycle, you know? Replace heal and self-heal sides with basic shields. It's fundamentally worth nothing. Replace the middle side with dodge all attacks. I'm, I'm going random tier one, I gotta say. And I, I don't know if we're ever going to find a use for ballet shoes. I also will not re-roll the herbalist. I think the, the way that you could use ballet shoes, so it swaps left and right. The left face is like the, usually it has something good on it. So you could swap left to right. And then you could take another item that occupies the left space. Because usually those are like, we could put a great face on your left side, but it's going to cover up a great face that already exists there. So I think the ballet shoes are like, they allow you to mitigate that, that potential opportunity cost. Who asked? Good, good point. That's a good point, is who asked. I'm, I just said that myself. I didn't see it in like chat or anything because this is a YouTube video. Hold on, I'm going to vine you. I'm gonna pass turn. Save your save your mana. Abra, Abra, Kadabra. I'll be saving my mana. Sure, 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 sure. I mean, this is like is is no problem right now. Hit you with one of those. I'll hit you with one of these, and then a vine boom. We didn't even use like half our dice there. 
Okay, the bloodlust can be really good, especially if we have like some AOE. But otherwise, I'm like, I, I just don't think the scrapper is all that in the bag of potato chips right now. I think I'd rather go warden. Even if they're a little boring, they are like a strictly better version of what we got going on here. I'm realizing now this is level four of infinite too. So I have no idea how long this video could be. I guess what I would say is don't worry about it. We'll probably lose at level 16 when we fight Tarantus. <laughs> Good old Tarantus boy. Right, poison doesn't really work on you. Like the same way McFly, those things don't work on water because your regen counteracts the poison. I don't know if he's heard of second poison though, Pippin. Okay, how about this? How about this? Um, you know, I would, I would absolutely take that even though you're better at shielding. The time is just right for us to, to strike you down a little bit. I smack you. I'm gonna smack you. We could do two more damage, but that's sadly not enough. I will say, so far, and this is, I, I recognize that it's going to get harder. I mean, this might be the first boss now that I think about it. So far, this is easier than hard, for sure. Um, because we're starting with a, a much milder curse than they give you in hard. Fletchling adds range to the left side. We could add range to our bow and arrow, I suppose. It's not bad, but it's not great. Or we'll replace middle side with shield three bloodlust. Listen, let's just try that on for size on our, on our warden. It's strictly better. Eye mold adds decay to all sides or all monsters plus one max HP for each A in your name. I mean, we can work around this for now. But it does, excuse me? Oh, th those are the ballet shoes. Wait, but like, I thought, I, I thought this was an item that I had to equip. I was gonna put it on the thief. I thought I was a genius. <laughs> it's probably an each A in every player's, or in, in our entire squad's name then, right? Look, I'm not, I'm simply, I know I said I was gonna play around it. It turns out I am not going to play around it. Instead, I am going to uh, ignore it and hope it never comes back to bite me. Hold on. We just gotta... Sometimes you just gotta do the math. There you go. Got a trapper and a brute. I do like the stun from the brute. Your rolls are pretty good. Thief. I mean, I, I like the thief as well. I think the brute's a little better. I think, I think the stun is super valuable. You could give me heal two single cast. These are not great items for the cost of an extra monster, in my opinion. So the thing with stun, you can only use it to stun units that are weaker than you. They have less HP than you. So it does pay to keep your brute's HP strong. Hold on, watch this. <laughs> Wait, no, that doesn't work. Give me a, give me a second here. There's, there's plays. If I, if I burst you... Then I can use my hammer on you, which allows me to then... Oh, it doesn't quite work. You have one more HP than I thought you did. Probably because I got so... Oh, no, they get the bonus based on the A's in their name. Okay, that's not that bad. All right, so I need to do six damage, but I can't target you with this. Okay, that's even... Actually, it's ten times easier. Because I don't have to do any, like, spell witchcraft. I just need to do, you know, what's six divided by three. We got, we got the ability to do that. Good, 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 good. This is an insane roll. We got exactly what we needed. Okay, get smoked. Exact change. Scalpel. Red heroes only plus one to all damage sides. It, it's not that bad, I think, to get double the poison, even if it is only one time. Or we'll replace the middle with heal three cleanse. Cleanse is very nice. Honestly, might sound a little crazy. I would put pop that on your thief real quick. We're gonna end up replacing the thief next. I think they're they're our lowest level hero. Um, but for now, I I definitely don't mind it. That's bloodlust shield. That's that's pretty nice. Don't need that, but it, it's the thought that counts. I suppose that's just a horrendous roll. Um, here's what I can do. I can like smack one. Vine another one. We know we have to kill two of them anyway, which gives us a pretty nice bloodlust shield and then just pass your turn. 
And we get one mana in reserve. It's very one of the most satisfying sounds in gaming right now. The th 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 of um, of slice and dice. Horrendous yet again. But two damage, two damage. So I think I just want to ice you. Then I can stun you. And we'll give you a little heal. Maybe you should have put it on the warden. It's worth thinking about, especially if we're going infinite. It's not just about finishing the level. It's about building good habits. So let's kill the war chief here. I don't even want the shield. I, I want something. Yeah, I want more damage. That's basically... I mean, we're, it's over. It's over for you. I said good day, sir. Spellblade. Or Fiend. Fiend is like a cantrip roller. Which I do kind of like. But I think Spellblade is just kind of... Just kind of solid all around. Would I still... Roll the cleansing heal in the middle. I think I would over one poison, but poison. I don't underrate poison. I might be making the wrong decision here, but broadly, I I am a poison respecter. Okay, I think that growth works really well on on the spell blade too because of the mana gain attack. Stunning of bones is not nothing. It's not. Stop. Stop suggesting that it is. What's imbue again? Single cast. Plus one to all targets damage sides during this turn. To me, it makes sense to actually imbue this as well. So we get more mana immediately. And then next time you'll be a three-piece anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that make sense? Did I, did I do something stupid there? Um... Almost feel like we should just do it like this. Just just keep the enemies at bay. Save your mana, and then we can use a flare next turn on somebody more important. Like uh, on like a slimer or something. It makes sense to me. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Look at this mana. The mana, it's ridiculous. So I'm thinking we like flare up on you. And flare up on you once more. And then ice you. And then stun you. Next turn's still kind of gonna suck. But as long as these guys roll, and they did, they roll like intercepted. What's the word I'm looking for? They didn't roll the same thing. So they're not attacking the same units. So it's kind of spread out, which is not so bad. Um, I think we want to roll better with everybody else. If you got to, you got to. We're kind of running out of rolls here. It's, it's unfortunate. I would say... I mean, Bloodlust is, is mighty tempting to work here. And then this is a heal three cleansing cleave. Just cleanse. Let's hook up our herbalist. Honestly, I would save the mana. We're not saving the warden from anything. We can use the... We can, the, the mana has the same value next turn as this turn. Which means it has more value next turn, because we can prioritize based on who the most dangerous enemies are. This is probably still pretty good. That's one. I, I really want to see this, this mana gain that we got on the first roll, you may recall. It should be worth two now. I thought it was going to be worth three. That's my mistake. Okay, well, clearly, this is why we can't have nice things. Let's ice. Well, I guess technically we should... Hmm... I think we should ice you now. Unless it'd be better to ice you. And then you. And then you. And then things actually ended up looking just fine. That's why you don't let yourself get intimidated like that. And look, now the Slimer is doing something, but the Slimelets are useless. And we're just looking for mana, basically. But is, is, come on. With the Spellblade, you got to give me better than that. And, and thankfully, they did. And that's going to do it. Okay. Things looked a little dicey there, but we got through. Choose an item. Regenerate one health at the end of each turn. Or blue heroes only, two right sides become two mana. Easiest choice of my life until we replace this uh, hero, at least. Monsters left sides get plus one. Or... Handcuffs must be equipped minus one item spot. 
I mean, I would rather add one monster, uh, plus one to the monster's left sides. Just because, like, those items could come very much in handy. And usually we do end up getting pretty close. Now, I know that flies in the face, or pretty close to our, our number, of, like, cap number of items. Um, that flies in the face of what I said earlier, which was, I'll take that, uh, the A HP upgrade, because I'll just have it take up an item slot, but then I also thought, you know, I, I, I guess I, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just, you know, things changed. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Probably should have imbued on turn one, but I, I'm not sweating this at all. Tons of mana. Nobody took much, well, uh, somebody took a little damage on that last turn, but not too much. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. And then damage, please. I'll, I'll live with that. Let me get uh, two mana. Let me... We should go in on a bony that's adjacent to two graves. This allows us to then imbue this. So we damage two graves. And then this is where the true meaning of vine comes to pass. We can go one, two, three, two, two. You're living. You're going to die next turn. We did take a little bit of damage, but we, we raised everything. We raised our economy, you know, with the, with the growth. We got growth again. We, we rolled the growth die, which apparently never happens, but then uh, this time it did. This time it did, and then we put growth on it again. We smack you. We get a bunch of mana. We got a little bit of mana. <laughs> Maybe a bunch is a, a bit of a misnomer, but check this out. Get smoked. No problem. Okay. Sparky or Seer? I do like that you have growth mana, and I do like Foretell. The problem is if we lose Flare, what are we using all this mana for? I guess just a ton of vines, which is pretty good. And then Sparky is pretty good too. There's a mana gain side. There's the charge mana side. This single use, right? Yeah. If that's single use, I'm going for Seer here. And I'm going to give you this, obviously, to make you a little more consistent. So far, everything looks great, but this feels a little bit more like, you know, normal difficulty instead of hard. So I, maybe I'll regret my, my words and my deeds later, but... Now, this is more of a fight where a shield would matter, because we're really just in, like, survival mode. Why don't you give me four mana next turn? Nobody's dying this turn. The only enemies we really have to kill are the imps, so... We, we're we're kind of trying to just survive both fanatics, and then when they blow themselves up, we'll figure out what we're doing after that. But I think, you know, Fortel is kind of, it's kind of sick if we play with it, if we play around it. Man, I'd really like you to not roll this. I'd really like you to roll a shield. I think this is fine. Not gray, but fine. This is what I'm looking for more like. This is great. Growth, sure, we'll, I think we can find a place. We're very versatile with our mana, so I think we can definitely find a place. Let me put this on you. You're going to die. Maybe we want to imbue it first. Then we could just vine you. We save one mana on the back end. I want to stun you, which means I have to get you low enough to make you stunnable. Which means we got to stop right there. Thank you very much. I need somebody with a human touch. I would, I would vine, and then I would honestly just save because our our manas were the same. It sucks we couldn't use foretell on this turn because that's it's part of my overall strategy. But overall, I think you can see what we're going for. A stun is actually pretty much useless this turn now that I look at it. <laughs> but only two units are dying. So this is 2 HP. That's great. And it's we can apply it uh, as we see fit. 2 damage is going to be great then. Let's not take growth mana. I think the fight will be over too soon for it to really matter. We'll, we'll, we'll take the regular mana instead. And the, I think the best thing you could do... I'd really rather you didn't summon a bony. Don't get me wrong. The best thing you could do is... 
Use spells to kill the imps. Because oh I can't I can I can but then you're both gonna die in the process. In that case, maybe still take the shot. Go to four mana and then two vines. I still think we're completely fine. But I'm I'm realizing it would, would be really nice to have like a cleave heal. And it would be really nice to have, um, well, like a lot of things, but certainly it would be really nice to have uh, really any form of AOE damage as well. Like this is survival, survival. This is, this is something. Let's just play this out for a second. I think we want to go like this and then a vine. And then probably a burst. And then... You're not, okay, we need to use real health to keep you alive. And then we'll pass turn. Yeah, everything's, everything's going to be okay. We worked them down. We're probably not playing a perfect game right now, but it doesn't, as, if nobody dies, even if it took us longer than expected, I'm going to go ahead and call that a perfect game. Why not try this? So, I mean, I don't think this is going to matter much, but... We can gain mana, we stun anybody. Let's stun you because you're doing the most damage. Use growth on your bloodlust. And then two vines. Use bloodlust. Now you've got bloodlust. You get a free kill. You get a kill. Look at that. We copied the bloodlust. Add self shield to all damage sides. Something to like there. Or clink. Double all friendly shields. I just, I don't see us having a build with no AoE shields where we can make that work. But add self-heal to all damage sides. Yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I would definitely feel like that's not, we're not going to turn up our nose at it. Is this a boss? Is Spiker a boss or is he just like a guy minding his own business? You already have self-shield on this, obviously, but still. We have, dude, the ability to get blood, but actually bloodlust is not that good here, but it still is nice to, it's nice to have a copycat ability. This is an annoying fight. I think we got to copy growth onto this. Then let's, well, we're going to gain two mana, right? So let's use mana to kill the illusions. Then... This allows us to actually hit you without taking damage. Now you've got growth and bloodlust. Let's use growth and bloodlust to shield maybe like our seer. And now you've got growth and bloodlust. I'm going to use you to hit... I hate to say it, the, like the math is bad because the ghost is going to pop uh, invulnerability on one damage next turn. Which sucks really bad, but what's done is done. Okay, your brood is really good for taking out our spiker. She feel like... Poison is not that bad on this fight against the Spiker. The, the catch is we need to somehow keep our Herbalist alive. But I think we can just do it like with mana. So you should get self-shield, which allows us to then attack you. Obviously, you're going to take the shield. We're going to get three mana, which is enough. Because we can use like, we can just do this. And then I'm going to poison the ghost. The reason we poison the ghost is because if we poison the spiker, we take like two extra damage and then our, our herbalist dies. This is not as bad as it looks. We're not rolling over the competition, but it, it feels well balanced right now. Heal three cleanse seems important. Bloodlust seems important not just for the shield, but also for the ability of the shield to possibly uh, copy itself on... Oh, but I guess we're not going to get the copycat dice, but that's okay. That's a great one. Hi, hi, Tomo. What's wrong? You want to go out? Here. Come on, buddy. You're, you're free. He'll probably want to come back in in like five seconds, but that's okay. And roll me one more time. Because just, growth is not good enough here. We need, we need to get more survivability. So, 
I mean, imbue is tempting as well, but can I get you there? I bet I can get you there. Three damage. I can literally get you there. Probably want to shield first. Should do it like this. Then the cleanse will save you. Everything's fine. We probably didn't even need to do the shields in advance because then we took one of the damage dealers off the table. Um, we can probably just ice you. That's the way I see this. Okay. Not a boss. Sharpshooter or Wraith? This is where things get a little trickier because now we're dealing with like units we like and we're choosing which ones to get rid of. I definitely feel like the Sharpshooter can go kind of hard. You got Copycat as well. Four damage is nice. Self-healed, self-shield is always good. Kill an ally, deal five, heal five to all allies. I'm like, I'm just not advanced yet enough to use that. I think we got to go Sharpshooter even though we lose Imbue. And then the heal three cleanse, I think we just leave it off. I mean, the Rodden does inflict poison, I think. It's a fight we want to be over with relatively quick, unfortunately. Because, like, this is a... It can be a bit nasty. Because we lose one max HP every turn, as long as the Rodden's still alive. I think we have to take it. So let's do, let's make the self, actually, no, it would be nice if the bow and arrow did four damage next turn, if we roll it. Four damage is, is a meaningful difference. So I think we're going to go like, yellow's dying, they're taking the most. So shoot you, vine you, I'm going to say attack you. Yeah, that's fine. Attack you. Vine you. Are, you. are you seeing the power of Vine? Do you see what happens when you Vine a stranger in the Alps? Now, admittedly, this means we, we went and we didn't use Foretell, which would have been nice to get the extra one mana, but we took a lot of damage off the table. Okay, please tell me. I'd, I'd love... To, okay, the Assassinate is, is better, actually, than what I was hoping to roll, so it turns out I don't know what I'm talking about. And I think everything's good here. Because you got to remember, whenever we get mana, it could be anything. It, it could even be HP. So let's not waste our lives being like, you know, should we roll again to try to see if we roll HP? We can use two mana as, as two HP applied as we see fit. So you're going to need a burst, which sucks. Because it'd be nice to use a vine to heal you and save one mana. But that still allows us to use foretell, which means that we get four damage guaranteed on this turn. And you only have 12. So I don't, I don't need too much more to get you there. This is like, no, actually, you, if you rolled mana, it would be better than this damage. Although two poison would be nice, too. I'm hoping to kill you before you summon anything. Mission failed. Five mana, five HP. Mission succeeded. <laughs> we made it. Silver pendant, plus two to incoming shields. Ocular amulet, plus one to the left side. I would actually go ahead and say I, I like the ocular amulet here. Starting two mana growth, this makes it a more compelling choice. And then shield response. All monsters, after taking damage for the first time each turn, shield one or maximum of three spell cast per turn. I don't think we can... Um, I don't think we can take slow spells the way we're spamming Vine. I and I similarly this negates a vine. It basically makes your first vine do nothing. I'm gonna try a random tier one curse. Minus one to item quality. Listen, that sounds insidiously bad, which is bad but hard to notice. It just saps our strength uh, over time without us being able to really understand the causality of it. And that's amazing because if I can't understand the causality, then I can't get mad. <laughs> so, in a bizarre way, I think I'm kind of okay with it. Maybe we shouldn't kill the Thorn, because this is a ranged ability. Maybe we should... Ah, they're immune to spells. It's not like a... It's not the end of the world as I know it, and I feel fine or anything, but... Just let me... What if I shoot the... Th what if I... We should kill a sniper. Yeah. It just... It just makes more sense. I would love to kill the Thorn, too. Are you going to live through this? Yeah, yeah, okay. 
and then foretell. My my general flowchart, if nobody's dying and we're not getting a kill and we have three mana, then use foretell. It sounds complicated, but it, it comes up all the time. And I think this is really good, assuming we have the mana base to survive, which I imagine we, we must. So you could take growth, but I could also give you bloodlust. But I can't really get bloodlust to do three damage. Maybe growth is more relevant here. Because I can't damage the sniper with any of our spells. So I think we just gotta, we gotta let you grow into it. Which makes our shield better. We vine to keep you alive. Smack you. Put up some shields. We got seven mana. It gives us a free vine. Remember, I, I, I've, I've said it once. I've said it a thousand times. I can't vine the backline unit unless they're the last unit. Very nice. Let's see the quote tweets. I think maybe I'm just... I, I could have run the numbers. I was a little lazy, I'll admit. Oh, right, that's okay. I can't hit you unless it's in the... That's right. But I still think... I mean, we got you big time here. Good fight. So the Wanderer has error on most of their attacks. Well, on, on half of their attacks. Which, uh, as long as you count it as four attacks instead of six. But, well, you know what? Now, I was thinking we're not expecting fights to go long. But it starts at two. All attack sides would also have self-shield if we wanted them to. Inflict pain is incredible for like single turn damage. And this is unbelievable if we apply growth to it for one turn. So I actually think like that's, I, I don't even know if we, I, I'd love the heals, especially with rescue. But I mean, I, I feel like for damage potential, this just makes sense. And if we get the quad shot and growth, we are insanely loving life. To the extent that I'm almost like, I think we should reroll for growth, like, aggressively. None of these other items are that great. These are all, or rolls, I should say. These are all pretty bad, too. This is not a horrendous, at least, at the end of the day. So blue is dying. Just kidding. This will do one damage. I would rather foretell, honestly, rather than throw out like two bursts to kill that knoll, because they're not doing anything next turn. Plus, the longer a fight goes on, the better the Wanderer gets, because all they get plus one attack on all those era attacks every turn. Copycat? We don't really want to copy era, but we'd love to copy like quad use. I think we'd love to copy bloodlust right now. God, I would still love to see you roll growth. I'm going to give it a chance. It's fine. Life, it, it's okay. Life's okay. Can we just do this? Like, okay, like bloodlust is one thing, but can't I uh, like use this to give you quad use and then just, you know, start like ruining lives out here? The answer to that question, by the way, is yes. The answer is yes, you can. And then... One of those. I, I don't think I can do enough damage. Because we do like damage where one one damage equals one mana. I guess we could have foretold two times there. I didn't even consider that. But now even before we roll anything, like we have enough damage just on mana. Okay, very easy. Spinning Scythe. Replace the middle side to one damage to all heroes and monsters. Rampage. It scares me. Add patient to the three right sides times two if you didn't use this hero last turn. It adds it to the right side. I know we have ballet shoes, but it's getting a little, it's a little prickly. I don't see us making that work. I'm going random. Self-heal to all heal sides. Self-shield to all sh shield side. This is a Dr. Seuss, uh, this is a Dr. Seuss riddle. I think that the best thing we could do here is at least we have to take it. You might as well pop it on the Warden, and then it'll self-shield himself in addition to others. And it'll take a minimal amount of damage in all likelihood. So Spiker Inflict Pain would be incredible. Instead, we got essentially nothing. Um, we got it. This doesn't quite... It gets, it gets pretty close. Single use. Do I want growth? Like growth, shield. 
hit a unit, bloodlust becomes better, shield on you, you're now lethalable. You're having pain inflicted upon you. You're going to take a ton of damage this turn, and then we pass. The thing with the Basilisk is when we use dice against it, they petrify. So we, we don't want to use our dice against it until we've killed other units with our dice. Good, good. Very good. Absurdly good. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, it's the same roll. We'd love to just kill you with spells and, and ranged attacks. Is easily do oh well we should do it like this first maybe so that we get the value of the bloodlust and then we're just gonna pass turn again honestly if we get on like a good mana heater like we could just use burst to to take the basilisk down we probably won't need to but okay so you are not gonna get used this turn unfortunately you are gonna get used and we got growth I'm a genius. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, in that case, we should growth the ranged attack. That, that makes sense. I understand. I, I get it. I get it. And we'll just block, and I'm, I'm not even going to use it. I don't know. We probably should, because why wouldn't you? Because if you can't use it, then you can't use it. You know what I mean? I guess a cleanse could... I don't, we don't have a cleanse on any dice, but a cleanse could unpetrify it, right? So it's pretty good. It's very good. It's very good. It's not good enough, but no, no, I'm glad we re-rolled. Who would have thought? I smack you. I go, you're, you're done. You're done. Didn't even have to worry about it. Shaman. Three damage growth. Huge heal. What are we looking for out of you? You applying growth to the quad shot is like really good. We haven't made it work though, so maybe we're over relying on it. A big heal would be nice. A ritual with cleanse and cleave. You have a nice little mana bomb, but I, I hate to get rid of our foretell, believe it or not. I think we're better off. I think the herbalist, oh, then we lose vine, dude. It's like if we take that, we, we don't have to take them. But I definitely think these units could be better than the units we have. I honestly, I would rather lose Fortel. I think we can still run the, the mana for smoothing. And I think we can still run plus one to the left side. Just so when we roll that, um, it's not useless if we roll it on the first turn. It's not good, but it's not useless, you know? This is what we want. It's good enough. We still have Vine. We have Crush. It hits the top and the bottom units. That's actually very nice. For some reason, I thought it was Drop. So I think we like... Hear me out. Like this. And then a, probably a Vine instead of a Crush. Although how much... It does three damage. Three damage to top and bottom. Hold on. Don't even shoot him, man. Don't waste your time. Crush him. And then uh, vine. And then shoot. And then vine. And then just a quick block. You're going to summon two more spiders this turn. The only resource we lost was our single-use mana. Meanwhile, we've got uh, eras ticking up every turn. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's, good. it's all good. Sure, it's, it's not quite like good enough yet, but it's okay. And it, it only gets better. I'll crush you. I'll vine you. I'll vine you. I'll shoot you. And then would you look at that? We actually, we actually got in there and did some damage to the, the boss themselves. Tomo wants to come back in, but we, we've got a contentious situation here. Because if he comes back in, he's going to want um, to be petted relentlessly, which is very nice. Don't get it's it's a very nice thing. The problem is that I need to play slice and dice. I know it sounds bad when you say it like that. Okay, hold on, smack me, smack me. Because you took Era off of that one too. And look at this incredible self-shield. 
I'll do two damage and then just apply some regen because I got to do something with it anyway. Now we can actually save mana for a turn, which means we could start to think about using the mana bomb on Weaver. But obviously we need to get it. This is an insane inflict, uh, inflict pain. It's a nice shield. I feel like, honestly, like the regen makes a lot of sense. But I also feel like the mana makes a lot of sense if we can just get the mana instead. Growth. I don't see it happening here. Okay, it's going to have to happen. Um, so that blows you up pretty good. You are going to devour the top unit no matter what. Like, we, we can't stop it. So if I could just at least keep the herbalist alive, I think that's like as good as it gets on this turn. What do you mean one usable dice remaining? Oh, because I didn't do anything with my growth. It, it literally, like, might as well apply it, but... We're going to be fine. I mean, it's, it's very rare in my experience to get out of the Tarantis fight while somehow avoiding the top unit dying. It's just, it's just what happens. Okay, so we got 11 mana, which means you're dead. Wooden bracelet. Plus one to all sides with no keywords. Ranged is a keyword. You're like all keywords. You're not... That's it. That's something. But oh, I love pocket mirror though. Plus one all sides with no keywords. It would make you a lot better at generating mana, but mirroring the left side to the right side is what pocket mirror does. We get more inflict pain. We can get another assassinate. I feel like pocket mirror for more inflict pain is important, just so you're not rolling nothing so much archery training archers get plus two i'll probably skip that <laughs> adds a cooldown to burst so you can only use it once per turn honestly as long as we hold vine we can live with one burst per turn seems important we could do better on the mage we did better on the mage oh man if you get growth if you get growth, you didn't. It's okay. We can still shoot like once. And then you get four uses of this, which means both snipers are dead, which is a real load off my shoulders. And then I almost feel like we should just enable... I guess we could go for like a big mana play too. Like get another mana here. But it's tempting to enable this big bloodlust, right? Like to go, oh, to go like this and like this. And now, wait, but you're not bloodlust. Never mind. That's stupid. He's going in. Okay, four mana. No, sorry. I hate to do this. We're going to do it slightly differently. This way, a crush gets us there. And then a vine gets us here. And we'll poison the weaker one and protect the person taking the most damage. I think that was a really good first turn. So I'm just going to let you know, like, if we make it through one loop, the next video will be like part two, which is not normally the way I do content. But I also, I didn't come into this expecting it to necessarily be, uh, you know, like a 10 part to six hour long video. That's a little, I'm, I'm obviously fudging the numbers a little bit. I'm just saying I, I got I got some stuff to do. So we, we will two-part it in that case. But I'm interested to see what the blessing is nonetheless. Heal two, spell rescue. Cost is refunded if it saves a hero. It is nice. You, you can make that work a lot. But I, I definitely feel like the warden is just better. For a number of reasons. For one, so this is... Middle side gets bloodlust. We didn't, we didn't need that. I'd rather have the, the cleanse, I think. And then karma is still really good here. But the real beauty of this is adding these effects to our, uh, our copycat ability if we don't hit it on anybody else. So we could get two uses. We could get um, cleave and self-shield. We could get, I don't know if we can get cleanse, but still, it's, it's good. It's good. Just trust, it's good, okay? This is very nice. It's very nice. I don't want to exert you. 
I want you to get a shield to keep yourself alive. That's completely fine, actually, because it's a self-shield as well. So ice the whiz. Inflict pain on the one doing the most damage by far. Wonder that does give you six shield. If you get the shield followed by the self shield, we might as well let it ride. Drop this on you real quick, and you're gonna take. You're gonna do a bunch of damage to nothing because we're gonna hit your like revenge trigger with uh, with your own pain, which is beautiful. I would like. Well, I don't care because the demons only summon imps. That's like a huge like sleeper energy. I'm not sweating it in the slightest. I think we would honestly just re-roll this. We just, we literally don't want to inflict pain. Now, I would have preferred it to nothing if I'd known that that was the, if I'd known that that was the question, then I probably would have taken the, well, I guess it didn't matter in the whole scheme of things. Okay, blank spaces get plus three mana. Era and minus one to all sides is tempting. Basically, turn one, you kind of suck, but after turn one, you start to go off. Interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting. <laughs> I think we could take this and use it on our uh, our mana unit. And then after turn one, they could go, in my opinion, sickle mode. And then plus one to the left side. It's the kind of thing, it's like it's worth putting on somebody, but it's not that good at all, I think. Like two pain, who cares? The pain usually inflicts like eight itself. Slightly increasing the range a sharpshooter can hit might be like the best option. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I, mean, I know we can't do it now, but I got to remember I can also like shuffle some positions around. Nah, I, I still don't think it's worth it, but it is tempting. How can I do four damage with one attack? I have to roll the exert if we want to kill a zombie. This is good. This is basically three mana. We should take it. This is the best thing we could roll on turn one, probably. I don't think we're going to kill a zombie. Is Inflict Pain? It, it is a copycat move. I, I just take that. And this is a cleanse. It might pre-cleanse the Herbalist, which would be nice. This is regen, which is not great for us. And that's we really needed the mana on that one. <laughs> we might be dealing with, for the first time in a while... We might be dealing with our first hero death. Unless I could maybe get... I mean, we're not going to kill the Banshee. Yeah, I can't quite get there. Especially because I can only burst once to begin with. Well, here's what I guess I would say. If a unit has to die... I'm happy that it is the Herbalist. It's not good. I would rather they lived. I guess we should put this on you. Um, or no, now I'm looking at it. I'm like, maybe we could have gotten there. I don't know. <laughs> Nevertheless, would love to know your thoughts on this. Um, it sucks. We, we can't res them. So it's, it's a scary time. Don't get me wrong. But we can do better than inflict pain right now. This is pretty good. This will keep someone alive. The Wanderer in particular. Two mana is no longer that impressive. We can, we can do better. I'll take three. And then... Oh, dude, you having minus one and then error though to make your quad shot that much better. It's an interesting... It's an interesting idea. We should do this. Then a crush. Just see where we stand. Then like a shot and uh, one of those. Okay. I still don't feel that bad about this. I also feel like Era has been working fine for the record. You do no damage. Uh, it's been working fine on our, on our mana generator. Well, you do live on that. Um... You know what the real problem is here? I hate losing access to uh, to Vine as a spell. Because our healer's dead. Now I gotta deal with Burst. Stinky old Burst that I can only use one time per turn anyway. Okay, this huge. 
they, we're not likely to get there within in well i don't know inflict pain three no we'd rather have like an era the thing is like all whatever we use is going to be petrified. Although I, I should remember, a ranged attack wouldn't be petrified. So that's a that's a my mistake situation. Actually, you know what? I got you there. Look at that. Okay, so this is the the hand. Who the heck is the hand? <laughs> Talk to the hand because the face don't want to hear it anymore. Operate. Revive the topmost defeated ally. So you're like a big healer. You are a booster. That has some insane weakness applied. Dude, look, there's a part of me that says don't mess up your whole thing um, on the final turn. But then there's an, another part of me that says... Heal 5, Cleanse Era. There's another part of me that says Heal 3, Cleave Era. There's another part of me that says Weaken Era. There's another part of me that says Boost Era. Like, there's some, there's some stuff there that I like. What's your thing? Handicap. All heroes get plus one to all sides. So all of your friends get plus one to all sides while you're alive, which is going to be till the very end. <laughs> uh, it's a little spooky. Four mana. Four, no, are you giving me... You're giving me a buff, I think. I feel like I would like to inflict pain. The heal's not that good, but it's great on you, which is like the hard part here. I think we could take our shield at least. And three extra mana. So seven mana. That's not nothing. I can shoot you. I can do like two crushes and just see where we stand there. We don't stand great. So I would take one of those crushes off. That cleanses. Let's go. Okay, and then I inflict pain. I wish it inflicted the poison, but it doesn't. So I'm just going to use an inflict pain on the saber instead. Now, I'm not feeling like fantastic about that. Like, I, we, we did some good work, but we, we took quite a lot of damage. What is this? 11 damage petrify. I would say that's like more than mildly nasty. I love the idea of a two boost on a quad attack. I don't know if that's going to get us there though. But I know this is fine. This seems... I, I, this plus this at least takes us to a five shield cleave. Is that actually like relevant at all? It's like relevant enough to to live, I suppose, which is that seems good enough to me. We're going to have a, a quite a nasty petrify next turn. I mean, we've done no damage to the boss, which is pretty bad, but at least we got no minions to worry about this time. So I don't, the assassinate's not going to work. 3 mana, we can't take it this turn. We I don't think we can afford to exert and the pain is not enough here either. Given that you have a chance to roll an X, I'm going to go back on what I immediately just said. This is a cleanse and cleave. I would love a big heal. You're totally... You shouldn't have expected anything there. You're totally petrified. You can live. I, I can get you there. This is a nasty boss, dude. Salve. Salve, salve. We got a... We got to choose one. No, even choosing one doesn't get us there. Hold on. We got to take it all the way back. You, I used it on you last time. Maybe you don't have... To, oh, it feels like it would be nice if you existed. <laughs> Am I okay? It's really hard for me to let the witch die. Can I tell you why? They have era on all their stuff. But it's either like the witch or or the wanderer. Stalwart's gone either way. In that case, I mean, it's it's gotta be the, or maybe they're not gonna. There you go. We could save two, but we gotta let the witch go. 
At least that keeps the cleanse available. We got to output some serious damage here. <laughs> Six damage is okay. One mana is not. Stalwart can keep themselves alive. We're not going to get this them to within seven HP. Four mana is about like as good as it's going to get here. And 12, okay, well, isn't that, that's simply not going to be enough. And we can't even use salve, which I think means we have to keep you alive. The stalwart's got to accept their death because we can't use salve anymore. And then I'm like, I could burst you. And what are you at? You're at like 22? We need to do 15 damage? I don't think we can win. So, I mean, careful what you wish for. The prophecy has come true. We, the video is going to end here anyway. Unless, hold on, this is going to get era, which is then going to give it a huge self-shield. Oh my god, we actually might live, although that petrify is horrible. What is this? Summon, summon three sabers? Please tell me this is enough. Eight, one, two, three. It's exactly enough. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Choose a blessing. Leyline. The third spite you cast each spell is free. Bolt spell. Bolt. Five damage for three. That seems great for what we got going on here. So does this, because we could use this for a cheap crush, and we can really cast a lot of spells. Yeah, with salvas. I actually think that Leyline makes a ton of sense. The end? You feel weaker. All your items disappear. Only curses remain. Will you ever escape this fate? No. I get to... Oh, so that's a loop. Do I get to keep my blessing, though? So here's what I'm thinking, okay? Because we, we re-rolled, like, all of our heroes, too. I guess we should have just hit continue instead. I don't know. Here's what I'm going to say. I am going to let these guys kill me so we unlock Blurst Mode. Now we got an idea of what's going on with Cursed, okay? I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry that we, like, you know, we, I, we had a good run. We beat level 20 on Cursed mode. Let's unlock Blurst, which is the mode that everybody says I've got to play. I'm gonna love it. And then we'll come back with, with, um, I don't know what we'll come back with next time because I don't, I don't want to make a, a four hour long slice and dice video. Maybe we'll come back with a generate real quick and, and let it simmer. Mix up the Zane with the relative Zane. Zane, 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 Zane. And send me. Okay. Either way, like, I mean, we won as, as far as I'm concerned. We, we won on our terms, which is unlocked Blurst mode, I think. Yes, new mode unlocked Blurst. Gain a blessing after every loop. What is Blurst? Same as Cursed, but you start with two blessings instead of a curse. All right, interesting. Maybe we will check it out next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. See ya.